Welcome back to Studio B. I am Spencer. He is Jeremy. A busy Monday, and that means a busy Monday's worth of headlines. Men's basketball assistant coach Cahill Fennell was named head coach at the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley Friday. Los Vaqueros! Fennell spent the past two seasons as an assistant coach on Mark Pope's staff. Jimmer Fredette, who we just spoke with, and BYU women's basketball star Lauren Gusson both participated in festivities at the men's and women's Final Fours, respectively, this weekend. Jimmer played with Team USA's 3x3 squad against Puerto Rico in Phoenix. Gusson, not surprisingly, recorded a double-double, 15 points, 15 rebounds in the women's college all-star game in Cleveland on Saturday. Colin Reuter hit three homers to help BYU to a series clinching 7-5 win on Texas Saturday. He had four homers in the series. They hit a ton of dingers. The Bad Cats took two of three from the Horns. With the wins, BYU, win, uh, BYU now 13 and 15 overall, six and nine in the Big 12. BYU softball's late rally falls short, five to four in eight innings in the finale of their three-game set at UCF on Saturday. The Cougars have yet to win a Big 12 road game this season in softball, and with the loss, they fall to 21 and 16 overall, four and 11 in Big 12 play. 10 wins in Big 12 play out of 27 games should put BYU in the tournament. So they got to get at least six more to feel like they're on the bubble. Upcoming bracketology from Spencer on go. softball. Let's go, go, baby. Number seven, men's volleyball splits road matches at number 13 USC to end the regular season. Friday, it was Brown, Benson, Romanus, double digit kills in the four set win. Saturday, you had 12 aces, most in a match since 2017, but lost in five. Cougars have finished the regular season now, 16 and eight, seven and five in the Federation. BYU men's and women's track and field competing at three different meets over the weekend, highlighted by performances from BYU's throwers at the Triton Invitational in San Diego. Dallin Schertz improving on his BYU number six all-time mark in the discus. Danny Bryant put his name at the number eight spot in the shot put, and Leah Katoa took the number 10 spot in the hammer throw. Congratulations to all those athletes. Number 36 women's tennis lost at number eight Texas, 6-1 Saturday. Maddie Smith picked up a singles win for BYU's lone victory there. And the men's team fell at number 24 UCF Saturday, 4-3. Nearly had it. Men are still searching for their first Big 12 win. But some golf news. It's Masters Week after all. BYU women's golf teeing off this morning <gasps> at the Texas Showdown in Dallas. And how about this? Former BYU men's golf standout and All-American Peter Quest finishing tied for 10th at the yeah. Valero Texas Open. He made $223,000 for that tied for 10th finish. And keep in mind, he had to make a, a birdie in a five-man playoff on Monday just to get into the tournament. Then he wins almost a quarter of a million. It's a good gig if you can get it, Spence. What a weekend. Men's rugby beat UCLA 48-15 in the D1A playoff Saturday at Southfield in the first round. Cougars advance to the final eight, the quarterfinals, at Central Washington Saturday. Daniel Schneeman had a nice weekend in AAA for the Columbus Clippers, going four for 13 overall, including a home run, a double, and four runs driven in. Hopefully he gets that major league call up soon. Is he your favorite Clipper? He is my favorite Clipper, for sure. Yeah. I, yeah, I like Tony Gwynn as a San Diego Clipper. <laughs> Did he even play in the – got drafted in the NBA. I don't think he played. Ron Harper, maybe. Uh, former BYU and Kansas City Chiefs tight end Matt Bushman announces he is retiring from football. Did get two rings, though. Pretty good. Yeah, that's, pre that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Well done, Matt. And he got to go to uh, Taylor Swift's party. So – was, Those are, was, like, close to being the same value. It right? was a good year. <laughs> it's a good year for the Bushmans. <laughs>